Chicago Cubs hosting the Atlanta Braves. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. The Braves are minus 160 on the money line. The Cubs are plus 150. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Braves laying a run and a half are plus 105, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. And the Cubs getting a run and a half are minus 125, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, Anderson pitched once against the Cubs. It was last year. Seven innings, no runs, no earned. They won that game 5 nothing. Hendricks pitched once against the Braves last year. Three and two-thirds, seven runs, seven earned. They lost that game 10 to nothing. The Braves are on a two-game losing streak, and the Cubs are on a two-game winning streak. Funny how the 14-game winning streak snaps, and the Cubs' 10-game losing streak snaps, and now all of a sudden, here we are. Head-to-head, -head, the Cubs are on a two-game winning streak. The Braves are 6-4 and four in their past 10 against the Cubs. The underdog getting a run and a half is 6-4. and four. The over is 6-4. and four. The over 8.5 is also 6-4. and four. The home team is on a three-game winning streak. The Braves are 17-15 and 15 on the road this year, and the Cubs are 13-24 and 24 at home. I'm going to take the Braves to end their losing streak. Braves with the money line, Cubs with the runs, and the over. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.